So today I'm going to talk about how you can get a very quick and easy win to increase your organic traffic. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to hop into Google Search Console. And if you don't have Google Search Console, all you need to do Google Google Search Console and download it. And then you can basically install it on your website. It's completely free and it's going to show you SEO metrics on your website. So what we're trying to do right now in this video is basically to look for posts that are underperforming that are already generating impressions in the search result pages. So that means Google is giving you credit, it's showing your page, but you're not getting clicks, you're not doing your end, you're not fulfilling your end of the bargain in terms of driving people to your website. You're not making the title enticing enough, you're not making the description enticing enough to come to your site. So what we're gonna do right now is, looking at Google Search Console over here, we're gonna go ahead and click on the Search Analytics um, a link over here inside of the dashboard. So this is one of my sites right here. And once you click on that, you can see, okay, this is gonna show you how things are going on your website. It's, you're, it's showing your queries, uh, the number of clicks you're getting per keyword. That's nice, but that's not what we're trying to get to right now. So what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and tick these check marks up here. So you have clicks, impressions, and click-through rate. And then from there, you can see now, okay, now you can see the total clicks you're getting, the total impressions, and your average click-through rate for me right now is 4% um, in the search engine, um, in the search engine uh, pages. So right now what I wanna do is I wanna look at the pages. The queries are nice, but I wanna look at the pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pages right here. And then when I'm looking at the pages, I can see, okay, what's performing well, what isn't? Okay, this page creating a successful sales team has a 10.54% click-through rate, which is fantastic. So anything above, I think, 1% or so, I think you're doing okay. Um, so we're looking for the ones that are severely underperforming. So what you need to do here is switch it from clicks and filter by impressions instead from top to bottom. And now we're gonna look at the, the posts that are generating the, the most impressions. And we're gonna scroll down, and you can see, okay, we got 5% here, 10% here, 4.87%, 5.91%. This one right here, we got 0.82%. And this is our post on Backlinko, Brian Dean, Build Traffic SEO. Um, basically, it's a Brian Dean post. And he's good at SEO, by the way. You should check out his blog, Backlinko. So, this one right here, we gotta take a look at it. And, and the question is like, why is this one underperforming? So let's go ahead and click on it and let's see what the heck is going on for this specific page. So right here, we can see the title. It says GE EP61. Hold on, there's a pop-up coming. Um, and it says, how backlink goes Brian Dean built his traffic to 90,000 visits per month. So the question is you, the question to you right now is, how would you go about improving this title? Think about it for a second. What looks unwieldy in this title right now? I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it. Right, it's this part right here, the GE F61. We don't need to see that crap. Like most people don't know what that means. That might make people think it's like a, like a scam or something like that when you see that in the title. So that's what you, you might wanna change initially. So you might say, okay, well, let's just change it to how backlink goes Brian Dean built his traffic to 90,000 visits per month. So let's just change it to that. And then, you know, you might make an experiment spreadsheet saying, okay, on this date, we tried changing the title for this post. The original click-through rate was 0.82% when we first started. The hypothesis is, that after a 30-day period of time, when we change the title, hopefully the click-through rate increases by 25%, right? And then you come back to it 30 days later, you look at your Google Search Console, and you can see, in fact, the, the click-through rate has, in fact, increased. You have to have a methodical approach to this. You can't just say, I'm gonna change a bunch of titles and not know what happens afterwards, okay? So, from here, you can, you can look at that, but you also wanna look at the meta description as well. So right here, I'm just gonna click view page source and let's go ahead and click on description. Okay, the description's right here actually. So meta name description, learn how Brian Dean from Backlinko used effective SEO to catapult his organic traffic. That's not a bad meta, meta description. Let's go ahead and leave that. We just wanna change the title. So by doing this, hopefully you come back to it. Next month, let's say you're able to increase by 100%, then you're at 1.6% uh, click-through rate. 
well, guess what? Your traffic for that one has doubled to 50, okay? Um, or doubled to 100 clicks. And you're gonna get, you know, an extra 50 clicks per month, okay? And let's just say, you know, hypothetically, you have to pay uh, $10 per click. Well, you know, that's, the, you, you're, once you start to do this, you're gonna, you're gonna start to stack on the free traffic that you're getting uh, that you would originally, that you would originally pay for. So instead of, sp you know, paying, you know, wh whatever, let's just say it's a dollar per click, right? You, you, well, basically, you're getting $50 in free ad spend each month. Uh, which can add up to six hundred dollars per year. Um, you know, you do the math from there. Uh, look at the look at the money pages for you. The, the the pages that really matter, the ones that are really driving email signups, and try to optimize those. And you look at this one right here, David Allen um, from Getting Things Done. Well, look at this one. It's 031 percent click through rate, and we're getting twelve clicks on thirty eight hundred impressions. That that's one to improve. We have one on YouTube ads, thirty three hundred impressions, fourteen clicks, 042 percent. This one right here. 0.09%. Um, so there's a lot to improve on. And what I would also recommend as well is exporting this and then color coding anything that is below a 1% click through rate. That way you can go in there and, and make changes. And then you can even hand off this process to somebody else after you've figured out how to do it initially. But first few rounds, do it yourself. Make sure you have the process button down. Then do a screencast like what I'm doing right now. And then you can send this to your team and then just continue to do this over time, right? Maybe each and every month you're, you're running these experiments. You should be having an experiment spreadsheet, not just for SEO, but for overall conversion rate testing. So, you know, at a certain level, and this is for another conversation, when you have enough organic traffic, uh, SEO and conversion rate optimization start to kind of meld together. So just keep that in mind down the road. So that's enough for, for this video and make sure to join us in the next video.